Hello, this is Jihiro Lamin, and in this video I'm just going to go through and demonstrate how easy it is to get up and running with the bullet plugin for Maya uh, to create some pretty fantastic simulations. In conjunction I'm using the AMD5 Pro W8000 graphics card to really make the whole experience a lot more interactive as you create or edit the simulations. Um, so at the minute I've got a CNI file I created earlier uh, of a Rhino charging through a wall and this scene file at the minute is, is actually pretty heavy because I've got the high resolution uh, geometry in there so it's, we're running at around 1.8 million polys almost um, and it's fantastic to be able to view the results and see how everything's interacting uh, in terms of collision so we, we get a clear idea of what the final output's going to be at render time um, so if I just minimize the resolution of this rig hopefully we can speed things up and start scrubbing in the timeline to again see what the final output is going to be. Um, so what I'm going to do now is open up a a smaller scene file and demonstrate just using the bullet plugin. So okay, so here we have just a a series of cubes um, and a ground plane. So we've got something to interact against. So I'm just going to select all the geometry here, come to bullet and create active rigid body with the options box. Uh, I'll just reset this now so it's, everything's in its um, default state and the collider shape type that we want is box so that's all good. And next I want to take this plane and just convert that to a passive object. So passive rigid body, this is going to be a plane and again apply. So let's give ourselves a few more frames and very quickly you know, we can just hit play and get a pretty fantastic looking simulation. So again very easy to, to just get things up and going and even quicker to start making changes and, and modifying, modifying it to your needs. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is select all of these rigid body objects again come to the bullet rigid body shape node and turn on initially sleeping uh, and what that's going to do is now if I hit play everything's going to stay as it is until we start interacting with it so let's create uh, some sort of object to to collide with this logo and we'll just make a giant sphere to begin with <clears throat> so with that I'm just going to go again bullet create a passive rigid body I'll set this to be a sphere this time and the body type to be a dynamic and I hit apply if I hit just play it's gonna hit the ground plane so let's give it some a bit of gusto so if I pop to uh, the attribute editor of that object with initial conditions we can set initial velocity to we're going in the z direction looks like we're going in the negative z direction so let's set that to something like minus 40 I'll just close that window down and pop into here if I need to do it now so again off it goes very quick to to you know start working with our bullet simulation and make the changes so we could for example um, maybe increase the mass <clears throat> to let's say 100 and again just hit play and see the results pretty instantly we could um, maybe change the initial velocity to I don't know, minus 10 slow things down Or um, you know maybe we want to. I'm going to set it at minus 20 maybe, and let's just take some of these objects. You know, maybe around here that are on the ground. Maybe not these ones. Maybe a few, oops, a few here, <coughs> and these ones, and and lock them down. So I'll disable those by coming to. Um, body type and making them kinematic so now they'll stay in place again if you wanted to to, to add a bit of rigidness 
in places. Okay, so let's again we can create another object. Uh, let's do a what should we do this time? Let's do a cylinder this time, I guess. A giant cylinder. Maybe we'll pop it up here. <coughs> That looks like it should hit. Um, and again, convert that to a passive rigid body. This time we want cylinder and dynamic apply. <clears throat> Just hit play and see what happens. Bonk, there it goes. Again, very quick, very easy to um, to start directing the destruction. Um, and again, we could increase its mass let's give it 50 among other things here okay so it's um <clears throat> we could even what else can we do let's, let's just see what happens if we pop it here have these objects interact with each other as well so another thing we can do is is start introducing Maya fields, Maya's native fields, to um, to add another layer of of complexity to the simulation. So if I just go back to the beginning and just uh, open up the outliner, which is over here on my screen, and um, select the bullet solver. What I'm going to do is just disable um, the default fields that it uses, which is gravity and begin with and then I'm gonna with that selected just go under fields and create a, a Maya gravity field and the only reason I'm using this is I get to take advantage of the magnitude um, to to increase and decrease the strength of the gravity so uh, with everything back at the beginning let's move that out of the way now we can again hit play everything should be working as normal because it's got those values there but now we can just take them and really start being a bit cruel to your objects slamming them up and down oops I ran out of frames there let's just oh there they go so let's just um, give ourselves an extra <coughs> set of frames so again just hitting play and we can really really go crazy. I'm going to select these objects quickly and where I turn them to be kinematic I'll just pop them back onto dynamic. So now everything should just select my gravity field I'll just pop that back to 9.8 to begin with now everything should um, be able to go up and then back down again okay so again this is just using um, you know, one field you can add any more here as well as that you can also um, play with the uh, you know introduce this to to Myers end cloth as well as using the soft body uh, solvers that come with bullet as well so there's there's plenty to to get your teeth into I guess and really go nuts with um, with the bullet system in Maya 2014.